Have you ever wondered who dropped your table or any of the object in your database? Hi there, this is Pinal Dave and welcome all of you to this another episode of SQL in the 60 seconds. I usually focus on SQL Server performance tuning project, but once in a while I get a chance to work on database forensic. Recently, one of the client asked me, is there any way to figure out who dropped their one of the most important database where they kept very important information? Honestly, this thing looks very complicated, but if you know how to use SQL Server Management Studio, you can do it very quickly. Here we are in SQL Server Management Studio and I am going to create a table called drop me and right after that, I will drop the table. Once we drop the table, we will go and figure it out who actually dropped the table. Here, you know it was me, but in real world, it's quite possible you do not know who did that. Let's figure that out. First, create a table, drop me. Now, I'll be dropping this table right following that. Let's assume this table contained some very important information. That's it, table is dropped. Let me close the session as well. So now it seems like nobody knows what actually happened on this database. There is a very simple way to figure out who dropped this database. Right click on your database name, go to reports, click on standard reports, and here there is second last option of schema changes history. There we go. We can now see pretty much all the schema change history in this report with username. For example, we want to know what happened to table drop me. Expand this and here it is. It says with the login name Pinal and username Pinal, I had created a table at this particular time. I had also dropped the table right after that in 11 second and timestamp is also captured. Pretty much any schema change you do, it is captured by default trace in your SQL Server Management Studio and you can get all the history back so easily. When you install SQL Server and do not customize that, SQL Server always configure default trace for you which contains all this information. Well, that's it for today. If you like what you see, please do not forget to subscribe, comment, like and share this video. I'll see you soon in another episode of SQL in the 60 seconds. I can see who dropped my table.